Jim Fee from the New South Wales Parliament and has responsibility for 12 portfolios, including transport and the environment. Marina is a civil and environmental engineer with more than 20 years professional experience. So Maureen Ferrucki knows about transport. Would you please welcome to Newcastle on the Hunter, Dr. Maureen Ferrucki. Thank you, Alan. Good afternoon, everyone. I start off by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land we're meeting on, the Awabasu people, and pay my respects to the elders past and present. <laughs> this land was never ceded. It always has been and always will be Aboriginal land. <laughs> Yesterday, hundreds of people in Sydney reclaimed the streets and their neighbourhoods to stop the wasteful $15 billion West Connect tollway. This is a road, if built, will take away billions of dollars from public education, from public hospitals, and from public transport across New South Wales. Shame! 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 Many of those people have come on the train today from Sydney to, uh, to stand in solidarity with the Novocastrians and people in the Hunter region. amazing to see thousands, thousands of you standing here to make sure that Premier Dave does not cut and slog off our public land and our rail corridor. <laughs> the Liberal government may try and knock us out of decision making while vested interests, private developers and power brokers get a seat on the table. But we will find ways to have our say. We will not be silenced. As a Green MP, I know that there is absolutely no public benefit for cutting the rail line. And as an engineer, I know there is absolutely no transport benefit for cutting the rail line. I met dozens of people in the Central Coast to use this line to come to Newcastle Uni. Many other young kids who come from Maitland to Newcastle to serve and others from Dundalk and Maitland and Newcastle who use the line to work. If this line is cut, Newcastle and the border hunter region will, left, will be left with a second rate transport system. And we will not let this happen. I've been asking a question, and I think many of you have as well, for the last few months. When you're there, for whom are you cutting this line? The reality is, this has nothing to do with transport or revitalizing Newcastle, New but all to do with slogging public land to private development. There has been no community consultation. We know there have been ITAC investigations into a number of local MPs, and there have been conflicts of interest in the Hunter Development Board. Premier Dave still arrogantly pushes ahead with his decision to fill the pockets of private developers and his vested interests. It is complete madness to cut a rail line that connects the two biggest cities in our state. What we need to do, what we need to do is expand on our transport. We need high performance fast rail. We need to we need to improve services. That's what we need to do, and that's what we are here standing together for. And today, we give a very loud and clear message to the Liberal government and to Premier Dead. Premier Dead, we will not stand by while you sell off Newcastle. No. It is cowardly, disgraceful, and shameful to even attempt to cut our rail line on Boxing Day. <laughs> we will not let you cut the Newcastle rail line. We will derail your plan. To show our <laughs> Nelson Mandela once said, it seems impossible until it's done. And together, we will do this. We will leave no stone 
one I'm done to save our rail line. Yeah. I've had the privilege of working with many of you over the last some months. And I know that we have the courage and the commitment to be able to do this. And the Greens will be standing with you, shoulder to shoulder, hand to hand, until we have stopped this chop. Thank you.